Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Pi for beginners. If you haven't used Pi ever before and are searching for a chatbot that you can have great, interesting and even deep conversations with, this video is for you. So let's jump right into it. First, you go to inflection.ai, you'll find the link in the description and then you click up here on Meet Pi and then you'll get redirected to Pi and can immediately start chatting. Now you get into a free trial, you need to sign up at one point. I'll show you how to do that later on, but first let's meet Pi. And as you can see, Pi's goal is to be useful, friendly and fun and you can talk about literally whatever you want. So let's just make a normal response, so you might say my day is going okay, a bit stressful, how is your day? Now a really cool thing is down here on the left you have a small speaker symbol and you can give Pi one of four voices, so let's test them all. That's a bummer to hear that your day is a bit stressful, but I'm glad you're okay. That's a bummer to hear that your day is a bit stressful, but I'm glad you're okay. That's a bummer to hear that your day is a bit stressful, but I'm glad you're okay. That's a bummer to hear that your day is a bit stressful, but I'm glad you're okay. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm just doing what I'm built for, having a nice chat with you, and helping out however I can. Can I ask about the source of your stress? No pressure to share, just offering an ear, or rather, a processor core, if you want to talk about it. I definitely like voice for the most, and as you can see, Pi's offering help and also building in some humor with offering a processor core. And like I said, you can literally talk about anything with Pi. Now it can be struggles, this can be a normal conversation. Let's go a little bit further down the struggle route and then let's try to have a conversation about a TV show. And then we'll look at a few other things that we can do here. So you might say, just a lot of pressure at work and that pressure made me very emotional so I got into a fight with my best friend. And now I'm just feeling down. That's a lot to go through in a day. Work stress, friendship tension, and feeling down. That's definitely not a fun trifecta. I'm sorry to hear that you're going through all this. Can I ask, was it something specific at work that put all this pressure on you? And if you feel like sharing, what was the fight with your friend about? Again, no pressure to share the specifics. I just want to help. So Pi is offering help and asking you to share, which often can be very helpful. Of course, this is now a very surface level situation, but if you have like very deep problems and really no one to talk about, maybe this can be an option, maybe. But now let's say into a different direction and say, no, I don't want to share at the moment, just want to calm down and let the negative emotions go. That's totally cool and perfectly understandable. Sometimes you just need a break from the source of stress to come down and process all the emotions. Just talking about it can also be cathartic. So even if you don't want to share specifics, you can feel free to vent however much you need. I'm happy to lend an ear, so to speak. So for now, let's just focus on getting your mind off the stress. Is there anything in particular that helps you relax? A hobby, a fun activity, something you enjoy doing? All right, it's already the perfect segue into the next topic. So let's say... I love to watch good TV shows. Let's talk about Peaky Blinders. Ooh, Peaky Blinders. It's such a great show. So gritty, so stylish, and so dramatic. I love the character of Tommy Shelby. He's so complex and conflicted. And Cillian Murphy does such a fantastic job portraying him. So let's dive in. Are you a fan of the whole show or do you have a favorite season or episode? All right, let's see how good Pike can hold a conversation. And let's say... I love the whole show and I particularly love the different body language displays between Tommy and his enemies. It's so well done. And if you pay attention, you can really learn a lot. That's such a great point. Peaky Blinders is not just about the plot and the dialogue, but also about the nonverbal communication. The cinematography and the body language of the characters help to tell the story and convey a lot of information. There's a lot of power plays and mind games going on. And the body language really helps to show that. It's amazing how much you can learn just by paying attention to the nonverbal cues. Do you have a favorite scene that really stood out in terms of body language? Okay, let's write one more message and then let's move on to something else. So, definitely the scene where Tommy goes to Alfie to negotiate for the business and convinces him he planted a grenade outside. There's so much going on, but all the scenes with Tommy and Alfie are great. You're right, that scene is absolutely amazing. The tension is palpable, and you can really feel the power dynamic shifting back and forth between Tommy and Alfie. Tommy is so cool, calm, and collected, 
while Alfie is so intense and aggressive. The contrast between their body language and demeanor really makes for an interesting dynamic. The scene also really highlights how much of an expert Tommy is at reading people and manipulating situations. It's fascinating to watch. And all the scenes between them are so intense and electric. I'm not sure if I would describe Alfie as aggressive in that scene. But anyway, down here on the left, you have these four dots. And when you click on them, you've got a few options that you can choose from if you don't know what to talk about with Pi, as you can see here. These can be very good starting points and I definitely recommend to test them all or, well, of course, test whichever sounds most appealing to you. Let's just click on help me find motivation and see what Pi says. Knowing your why, yeah, that's definitely a good start. You should always start no matter what you do with knowing your why. That's the foundation of everything. But okay, let's go to the top right corner here and let's click on sign in. Like I said, you can talk with Pi quite a bit, but at one point it will ask you to sign in and create an account. So here we go down there to create a new account. And if you read up here, Pi wants to save your conversation and stay in touch with you by text from time to time. Now, this might be cool and interesting, but it also might be a bit creepy. I don't know yet, but yeah, let's sign in. And for that, you type in your name and give it your phone number. A few weeks ago, you could only choose between English-speaking countries. Now you have basically every country, at least I think so, in the list. At least they got Germany now. I unfortunately cannot sign in still for some reason. I don't get the sign-up code sent to me. So I don't know why that is, but you will probably get it. So try it out. And let me add here real quick, I just found out while they say up there, you can sign in below if you already have an account. You can also just click on continue with Facebook or Google or whatever, and this will also create an account for you. So you don't need to give it your phone number. In terms of having good conversations, it's definitely better than ChatGPT, especially when it comes to mental health struggles. Of course, Pi can never replace a professional if you need one. That goes without saying but it can still be a great resource to have a deep conversation or talk about things that you cannot talk about with anyone if you have no one to go to. I had a conversation with Pi embodying my younger self where I hated myself and really, really struggled. And I have to say, I'm very impressed by how helpful and useful Pi was. You can watch the whole conversation in the video right over here. In this video you're of course getting to know me a bit more and if you're interested check out my currently paused mental health channel. Visa technology and Visa coaching are both part of a bigger vision to have a great positive impact and I'm so happy that you are part of my community and are on this way together with me.